New News Bistro, located at 45 Hayward Avenue in Colchester, Connecticut, was originally a carriage house in the mid to late 1800s for people to park their horse and buggies while visiting the Hayward House next door. Nowadays, it's known for a fine dining experience with great service and excellent food. What you may not know is that New News Bistro is also wanted. Knowing that the Hayward House had been a tavern, although this was always the, the carriage house and the barn and so forth, <clears throat> did somebody reside upstairs in the hay? I don't know. I have no idea. Nobody talks about what really happened with this building until it became things like the Colchester Grange and uh, a Masonic Lodge and I know it had been a couple of churches. I, I'm pretty sure it was the Baptist Church and I think it was also the the Catholic uh, St. St. Andrew's Church had used it for a period of time before we opened up in the 1995 a children's dance studio. So it had a lot of different uses but it was never recorded because it was only part of the original estate house which was the Hayward house. The upstairs was opened in 2004 and that's when all of us felt the most activity. Not so much prior but for some reason when we opened the upstairs things started happening. Wait, Steph started talking. Things were occurring, customers were talking. When Patty was still here, and she was here only barely a year after we had opened the upstairs dining, she had had an experience of being in one room and feeling as though our only waiter, waiter, male at the time, uh, had come upstairs and gone into the, the service area when in fact literally seconds later she walked out of that room from speaking with her customers went into the service area and he wasn't there and literally went to say something to him because she needed to communicate something to him whatever it was uh, something going on downstairs or do you know if this happened or whatever and was hoping to talk to him and he wasn't there physically no way he could have removed himself uh, that quickly. I wasn't even upstairs, I was downstairs waiting on tables. So speak to us? I'm not really sure what no. they saw. Probably Beth and I have had the most pronounced experience together. Um, we were here late one evening, at the end of a Saturday night. Uh, the two of us heard plates crash to the point where neither of us could believe that nothing had broken and we saw nothing move. It was obviously a clear, it was a clear message. Someone was trying to tell us something, how a plate didn't crack. Uh, it was a horrific crash and no one else except the two of us were in this restaurant. There were no dishwashers, everyone was gone. So it was quiet, we were pin dry, almost. This place is pretty quiet, and um, I was walking to a table right here, that was sitting right here. I had two water glasses in my hand, and nobody behind me, and I heard clear as a bell a female voice voice to say hey Beth. Turned around, nobody had was in the ladies' room. Um, downstairs ladies' room actually. There was a black, I don't know what it was, but it was a black street that just went right across the air, right in front of me. And it kind of reminded me of oil. No, it was rectangular. It went by very slow and it was just gone. And the light goes in or underneath that door in or out. So I have no idea what that was. 
Um, I was outside talking to one of the other wait staff who was leaving. And um, it was quiet. It was just her and I were out in the employee parking lot. And up back behind the building. And I felt a hand on my back. I could feel like all five of the fingers. And I turned around to see nobody there, just myself. And she was in her car and had goosebumps all over. And I told her, I said, feel my arm. Goosebumps up and down it. Waitresses who's uh, working a lot of hours. She's here with us a lot. She was talking to some customers upstairs, but she was sort of telling stories that she heard from us. Not making fun, but not really being serious, and sort of because nothing had happened to her, she was making light making light of things that she had heard. And it was Sunday morning for a buffet, we get set for a buffet, and I waited on a party in the blue room. First party in, and I had my tray of ice water, and I had down, I was down to my last ice water. And um, so it was perfectly balanced, and you know, I was talking to somebody, and I didn't even really, I didn't realize what happened. My water just went flying off the tray. No pre-warning, you know, that I was going to lose something. It just went flying. And I, I, I th I'm like, you know, what's the explanation behind this? And, 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 a, and a, another couple had sat, you know, at the tables and on the windows, so they really had a bird's eye view of this whole thing. And they said, they were like, that is crazy. Like, that blast just had a mind of its own. One woman was very uneasy eating in what I call the blue room, which is the one that's with the historic stenciling from wall to ceiling. When I went up there, they were very comfortable, so on and so forth. I walked, I said, is everything okay? And she said, fine. And she looked at me and she said, but we're not alone, are we? And I just kind of looked over my shoulder and I said, probably not. And we smiled at each other and I said, I feel presence, but it's a comfortable feeling. It's a feeling as though, if I'm not here alone, it's okay. <laughs> Whoever it is, either loves good food, um, or is a good friend.